Angela. Um, so, Digne, great choice. I believe he got an assist as well, didn't he? Assist, clean sheet, and of course, a bonus for playing so well. James as well, Captain Salah. I think most of these top teams will have a Captain Salah, which basically just brings all the team right up, doesn't it? Okay, Salad FC. Vice Captain Salah, he actually Captain Bamiyang, so. That's still pretty good though, and Vardy as well. William, a great four, a uh, front four there, eh? And he's done very well for him, Bolly, and Justin as well. Very nice, very, very nice. Also, second in Ace Lamar's League. Uh, Michigan FC. Of course, Captain Salah. And then the rest of the team, fairly average actually, Aubameyang. Werner, Mina, and soon Chu. Leno as well, pretty good choice. But yeah, other than that, pretty good. He's in a lot. He's in a lot of leagues. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Where is my league? There it is. <laughs> and we'll finish off with... Did we look at this guy just now? Yep. We'll finish off with the fifth. Which is... Saez, Aubameyang, oh yeah, imagine if he captain Salah, wow. Um, so that's a nice little pairing, obviously Calvert-Lewin as well, it's a good choice. Mitchell, very good, very, very good. Um, let's check out, I want to check out some of the people that I know, so Jack Jones, let's see yours. Okay, let's see, it's the old captaining and Aubameyang instead of the Salah move. Imagine the point change. You'd actually have 13 points more, I believe. Wow, wow, wow. Missed opportunity there. <laughs> and then Carver Luna up front. Good choice. Van Dijk and Lewis, pretty good. Did Lewis just get a clean sheet? Maybe a couple of bonus points or something. Um, a oh, ASMR plays also in Azalea.
assist, which he did. Dunk. Egan and Doherty. Uh, no clean sheets across the board there. Trossard. Looks like he got an assist. Oh, he scored a goal. Fair play. I didn't realise that. Kante. So quite a, a couple of defensive midfielders. Maybe not the best choices. Kane didn't score. Wood didn't play, apparently. And Giroud got a zero. Maybe he, come on, he, he must have just come on for like a second or something at the end of the game. So, yeah, quite unfortunate. But he does have James and Foden on the bench to bring on for these match to games in this in this game week. So good luck to him. Good luck to him. We've got a lot of catching up to do, it looks like. Um, so yeah, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. We've got a couple of new people coming in. Now I don't think I think they start on zero points, which is a massive disadvantage, so I don't apologize for those guys. But we will leave it there. I'm now gonna jump over and take a look at my Premier League predictions and scorelines looked okay so these were my predictions at first i went with a 3-1 win for arsenal which i have to say was a pretty good guess it's actually 3-0 i then said 1-0 crystal palace southampton not great i suppose 1-0 to, to crystal palace i did think it would be low scoring but not, but not that low scoring i predicted a relatively high scoring liverpool leads game to all i said 4-3 in reality i should have been more ambitious i thought that they would be a away win for Newcastle 1-0 I went with but it was actually 2-0 I think that's still relatively good it was 3-0 to Leicester turned out I, I said 1-0 so not very close there at all I predicted a 2-0 Tottenham Hotspur win and I also predicted that Everton would not be very good despite their signings um, Everton won 1-0 and it wasn't just as any 1-1-0 it was a really good performance I have to say someone commented saying how wrong I was to predict Everton were going to finish. I think I predicted they're going to finish bottom half the table. Now I am going to stick with that prediction just for now. I have to stick with it anyway because you can't change the predictions once the league has started in my opinion. That doesn't really count. But I would like to see how, to, how Everton are going to perform. Of course the, you know, as a long term across the season rather than just the very first game things can click well. I would have thought that if they weren't going to do well this season, though, they wouldn't pick any points up away f away from them against Tottenham. But not only did they win one 0 they actually battered them. In my opinion, I didn't think Tottenham brought anything to that game. I watched the highlights. Hamas Rodriguez was brilliant. Um, Allen was 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 exceptional, and Decore looked brilliant as well. Um, such a dynamic midfielder, and those three were just brilliant. New signings. I mean. I mean, I have to say, Calvert Lewin was brilliant as well, to be honest. Um, the team just looked, my baby Joel, pretty damn quickly. So, yeah, Ancelotti could be having a very, very, very good season. And I have to hold my hands up and say, that was a poor prediction. <laughs> um, so far, anyway. Sheffield United lost 2-0 to Wolves at home. They were very poor at the start of the game, or maybe Wolves were just very, very good. I predicted a 0-0 poor draw. Um, I have to say Sheffield United did get a little bit better towards the end of the game, but to be honest, Wolves were comfortable throughout in, in, in truth. And then finally we predicted a 2-1 win for Chelsea, and I believe they won a 3-1 in fact. Um, the Brighton goal coming from a very poor attempted save by Kepa, um, if I'm not mistaken, um, I think that's a pretty good guess. Overall, I think um, I think my guesses were decent. I got I got the I don't think I got any actual score lines correct. I got the Arsenal results correct. Um, oh, an Arsenal win! I was wrong about Crystal Palace. I thought they would draw. That was a win. Same with Liverpool. They won, but again, high scoring, I suppose. West Ham. I predicted Newcastle win, which was correct. I got the West Brom game wrong. I got the top wrong. Sheffield United was wrong and I got Chelsea to win 
Spurs really going to go two games without winning or at least scoring yes 1-0 Newcastle now is 5 in a, in a row home wins it's very unlikely we might go back and revise some of these now it's Newcastle versus Brighton now I predicted that Brighton would go down this season I don't think 